My one is perfectly healthy for you. <coughs> Makes it long strong. One reason I don't like doing no oh, my throat. It's not throat cancer. That's a myth that smoke's bad for you. It actually, actually helps with your voice, mate. Makes you more mature. Now, one thing I don't like about doing it is. What's, um, what's it talking about? My memories are fading a bit. Oh, I don't know. No one is good for you, though. Helps you think. Helps me think. I can't think unless I have a, have a, have a bong in the morning. Wake and bake and go back to sleep for a bit. Wake and bake and go back to sleep. Doing right is a bit manic, mate. He's like, you know, he goes out training and shit. Oh, I wake, bake, go back to sleep, and have a wake. That's all good, mate. That's how you do it, mate. The life of a stoner. It's pretty good stuff. I like, marijuana is definitely helped me. It helps me see things clearer in the society. And I've, I've got a mate, he's been smoking bongs for 30 years. And we go, we hang out at the welfare office every Thursday, second Thursday. And we talk about it, mate. I mean, the quality of hydro these days is really good shit, mate. Back in the outdoor in the 90s. No, you get the skunk now, mate. Oh, I'm great. It's really good. It helps the, the synapses in the brain trigger really good. This is a myth, mate. When people say, oh, Bazzi, you're drunk, fucked, they're just not consciously enlightened yet. And when you've just smoked as much bongs as I have, then you're going to get consciously enlightened. And people think, yeah, you're drunk, fuck. No, no, no. If you're drunk, fuck, if, if someone doesn't smoke dope and they call you drunk fuck, it's because they're not consciously expanded yet in the mind, the chakras and shit. And like, I don't mean to be woo-woo and shit on you, but Jimi Hendrix smoked bongs, mate. He made some good fucking music. And I want to be Jimi Hendrix one day. I don't know how to play a guitar yet, but I reckon if I smoke enough of these bad boys, I want to get up there and, you know, like, people, bananas, mate. Do not eat bananas. I'll tell you what. Um, bananas aren't healthy, mate. Let me just have a quick type. Oh, I need this. I need something. I need something to need my drugs. <coughs> bananas aren't healthy, mate. It's too much sugar. I don't believe in eating bananas or f fruits. An addiction. I'm not addicted to drugs, but I, I definitely think doing right and freely addicted to to, to to the bananas. So that's that's my bottom line goal. I'm not really sure what I was talking about. Uh, so people say, Baz, you talk a lot, but you don't really say nothing. But I'm, I'm going to a special workshop this weekend about cacao, and uh, and, and David Wolf's putting it on, and, uh, and and it's only 500 bucks, and we're going to listen to Dave's latest product line, and uh, he's selling coffee now, uh, uh, Gods of the Immortal, longevity coffee powder, and he says it's really good stuff, and and, and during what he gives a coffee drink, he gives us crap, but he's just addicted to bananas and, and sugar. Sugar's a drug. Marijuana's not a drug. Cacao of theobromine's not a drug. That caffeine's not a drug. But sugar, my friends, that is a drug. I got a mate, he walked down the street, had a kilo bag of organic sugar. He's doing 10 years in pen. In the pen, bro. With 50 cent. So, he walked down the street with marijuana, with cocaine, LSD, lysergic acid diphenamide, mushies or whatever. That's not a drug, mate. You go to Thailand, cross the borders with a kilo of organic sugar in your bag? Say no, little Betty. Let's say no, a little betty, mate. You go in the Bangkok Hilton, they'll be feeding you cockroaches and rice. And I'll tell you what, kids, cockroaches and rice, the rice might be vegan, and the cockroaches aren't. So there you go. Sugar, it's a fucking drug.